The past few years, my level 5 class has played the Stations of the Cross at Good Shepherd. Since we cannot this year, we will be doing it virtually. I hope you will join us. Stations of the Cross walk this way. The introduction. The way of the cross, there are many paths that walk the way of the cross. Long ago, Jesus walked hard, sad way to die. In our churches, you'll find 14 crosses made with holy sculptures or remind us the way Jesus walked. But we can walk the way with our love, with our prayers, with our imaginations, and with the way we act each and every day. The first station, Pilate judges, judges Jesus. Jesus walked the way that is right. We all know what it is to feel it's not fair when people say it's when people say, well, too bad, or life isn't fair, so get used to it. You're not speaking God's way. God sent the prophet who said, do justice, love goodness. God sent John the Baptist who thought, share with the poor. Don't cheat, don't bully. Jesus came for justice. Jesus came for goodness. Jesus came to care for the poor and weak. And when he came before an unfair judge, Jesus kept walking God's way. On that terrible day, an unfair judge sent Jesus to death. But God had a plan for justice, goodness, life. The second station, Jesus takes up the cross. Jesus walked the way of the cross. Jesus never chose evil or violence or death for anyone. But when powerful people chose to put Jesus to death, he did not run away. He chose to walk the way of the cross for God's people. Jesus knew every life goes through death. Jesus was ready to walk through the hard death for love of all God's people. Walk this way. Make the signs of God, Jesus. Make the signs of the cross. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. Jesus walked away even when he stumbled. Sometimes we look at television or movies or video games and they seem to tell us, it's good to be the strongest. The good guy is the one who beats everybody else up. Jesus showed us something different. Jesus showed us, God is with us even when we are weak. God is with us even when we stumble and fall. Walk this way. When you fail, look to Jesus. He loves you just as you are. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Jesus walked to the holy. Jesus walked to Holy Mother Mary. Mary was with him, with Jesus from the day he was born to the day he died. And after Mother Mary loved her, and after Mo, Mother Mary loved her son Jesus all his life. She loved him to his life of teaching and healing and to stand by him and this hard day. Jesus, God loves Jesus and Mother Mary. God loves and loves you and all of God's people. Walk this way. Stand by the people you love. Stand by the people God loves. Jesus walked the way, but he needed help. A traveler named Simon was by the side of a road that day. We don't know if he already knew Jesus, and we don't even know if he wanted to help, but the soldiers made this traveler carry part of the cross for Jesus. The way of the cross was too heavy for Jesus. He will, rem he will always remember Simon who helped him on this hardest day, the hardest way. This, the sixth station, Veronica and the face of Jesus. Jesus walked the way by being true to God. This station reminds how a woman who saw him struggling with the cross took her own veil from her head and wiped the face of Jesus. We do not know her real name, but she reminds, but she's remembered as Veronica, a name that means a true image or picture. The story goes that a picture of Jesus, true, true face stayed on her veil afterwards. What, what 
to know is, is that Jesus himself was a true pitcher. Jesus, who walked the way of the cross, was always true to God. If you want to know what God really looks like, look at Jesus. Walk this way. Think about your favorite story about Jesus. Remember, this is a story about God. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. Jesus walked the way of the cross even when he fell down. Once a traveler asked a saint who lived with his friends in a place of prayer, what do you do here? The saint said, we get up and we fall down, and we get up again. The saint meant that everyone there, no matter how hard they tried, did wrong things, did things they did not want to do. That's what the saint called falling down. We do bad things too sometimes. We are mean to a friend or family member. We don't help when we can. That's when we fall down. And just like the saint, we keep our eyes on Jesus and get up again. When you say, I'm sorry, God, in your heart, you're getting up again. The eighth station, Jesus and the woman of Jerusalem. Jesus walked with the woman of Jerusalem. Many other friends of Jesus were by the road that, that hard day. Many women who loved Jesus and listened to his teaching were there. They cried. They were so sad that Jesus was suffering and was going to die. Jesus loved them too. He was sad that they had their children had hard lives too. Jesus loved these friends to the very end. He knew that loving God would help them not just that, that day, but forever. Jesus walked the way of the cross for, the, for thee and for us too. Jesus walked the way of the cross even when he fell again and again. Sometimes we really don't know what to do next. Nothing we can think of sounds good enough. What do we do? Who can help us? Remember, Jesus knows what it is to fall. Jesus knows what it is to struggle and fail. Jesus knows everything you need. Bring your sadness to Jesus and he will always be there to hear and to help. The tenth station. Soldiers take away Jesus' clothing. Jesus walked the way when he had nothing left at all. Soldiers were ready to kill Jesus, but first they took away his clothes. Jesus did not want a single person on earth without a friend or and brother. Jesus was friend to the poor. Jesus was a friend to the homeless. Jesus was friend to anyone is cold. Without enough warmth clothes to cover them, Jesus prayed for them the day was his death. Jesus prayed for them now with his life with God. Walk this way. Ask your family how how can we help those who need food and clothing. The eleventh station. Jesus is placed on the cross. Jesus walked the way of the cross until the very end. The ruler ordered soldiers to kill Jesus. The soldiers put Jesus on the cross. They nailed him to the cross. They left him to die. This was the hardest, saddest day of any of Jesus' friends could imagine. Some of them stood nearby, even though they had to see Jesus in pain. They did not leave him, him all alone. And even from the cross, Jesus showed love. He said to his dear friend John, I give you my mother. He said to his dear mother Mary, I give you John to be your son. Not even the cross could stop Jesus from loving God's people. It, this is station 12. Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus walked the way of death at, on this hard, sad day, the hardest and saddest thing happened. Jesus died. Jesus loved all the people in the world. Jesus knew that death was scary for all the people in the world. Jesus did not want to walk away from his hard, sad part of being a human. Jesus loved his friends. Jesus loved his mother. Jesus loved God. But he called out loud to love, love God. It is finished. Then Jesus died. 
We love you, Jesus, who lived and died for us. Walk this way. Sometimes we know some someone who has died. Pray for them today. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. When Jesus could walk no more, those who loved him walked him home. Mother Mary and his friend John were with him. The women who cried for Jesus were with him. A man named Joseph was with him too. When Jesus died and came down from the cross, they opened their arms and take him up. They cared for his body even though he had died. They gently laid him to rest in a tomb. They never stopped loving Jesus. They walked the way. Walk this way. What words of love can you write or say to Jesus today? The 14th station, Jesus in the tomb. Jesus walked again. The friends of Jesus placed the body of Jesus into a tomb. That's a dark and quiet place where they thought Jesus would be forever. But God knows better. In three days, the friends of Jesus would know better too. And today, we all know better. Jesus did not stay in a quiet tomb. God had a plan for Jesus. A plan God had for each and every one of us. God gave Jesus a new life. And that new life was a promise to each one of us. Walk this way. Walk the way of Jesus. And even though we die, we will know God's own life forever. Amen.